Uh, welcome back to this channel once again and this is the part 3 video related with interview question and answers with explanation for AS400 so again in this video uh, I'll be covering 20 questions so let's start with the questions first question is what is the maximum length of a variable name in CL program so the answer is 11 because the length of variable is 10 but we include ampers and as a prefix as a in a where in CL program for the variable so it would count to 11 how can we display data from a flat file so the same way uh, I am displaying the data for PF or LF PFs so the answer would be run query or DSP PFM difference between read C and SFL next change now first thing is what it is read C is read changed SFL next change the file next change call so read change is basically used for reading the change records in a subfile and then we use the sfl next change keyword uh, which is defined in the subfile so in read change we can read a change record only once but the catch here is we cannot read a change record multiple times using the read c only so for that purpose we will, we would be requiring sfl next change keyword to read a same record same change record twice or multiple times so that uh, for example at the first run we could validate what the change record is actually uh, correct or validated or not if that is validated then we would be going for further operations like writing or updating anything something like that so that's why we use SFL next change so read C and SFL next change are differ in this way read a change record only once read C SFL next change used with read C to read change record multiple times now let's move on to fourth question what is the difference between iter and do so these are two opcodes iter is basically for uh, conditional branching this is a branching statement not a conditional branching it's a branching statement which is used with uh, conditions for example if condition so and do is a looping statement so just take an example for example we are inside do and undo loop and we want the loop to leave so what we are doing at that time we are using the branching statement leave which will leave the loop or and then what why we are using iter so for example for some conditions particular conditions we don't want to execute the set of uh, operations written inside that loop so for that purpose we would be using iter so once that condition occurred or met iter what iter would, would do iter would make that uh, control to jump to the end do loop directly and then again uh, trying to do and check for other conditions and would process other things 
so basically it is used to skip that process within do loop uh, for that particular iteration and when only when some conditions met so this is the main difference between iter and do so answer would be iter is a branching statement and control jump to and do do is a looping statement that's all difference between rename and prefix so rename is used to rename the record format of a file in rpg program and prefix is used to rename the fields of a file in rpg program rename record format of a file prefix is used to rename file fields how to debug a job which is in message wait state so sixth question is this so we basically debug a bad job and we follow the normal steps that is strsrv job strdbg and then then we do those things dsp modus rc f10 f12 and all those things but here in this case we have already submitted a job and that job somehow goes to message with state and now i want to debug that what i would be doing i would be following the simple steps i would be doing strsrv job then strdbg simply on strdbg and then i would directly be once the center I would be directly moving to the error line that at which that error occurred how do you pass parameters in CL programs so we have param keyword in CL programming so using that we can pass the, the parameters from one program to another what is the spool file so a spool file is just a printed output which is placed at the output queue that is out queue so the printed output placed at out queue what does exfmt does so the answer would be we know we read we write so here what it does it basically write first and then read the record from the sub file or the display file screen the tenth question is what is the default data type of dds sub fields of the ds sub fields in rpgl so we know that we define the ds and we define the ds sub fields so in case if any sub field is just say for example it's a numeric field so what would be the default for that so default would be zone zone data type what is the default data type for decimal zero in pf for that it's packed you must know these things what is the difference between packed and zone decimal so i would be uh, mentioning here the main difference 
so what packed will do packed will basically um, here one digit data will be holded in one byte and in case of zoned the same data would be holded in two byte request two byte so this is the main difference between packed and zoned decimal which I am highlighting here difference between do while and do until loop so in case of do while when the condition is true then only the loop gets executed but in do until loop the loop gets executed at least once even the condition is false loop executed at least once at least once loop executed only when condition true even if condition is false for the do until case Now the next question is how do you read DSPF and database file in CL program? So the answer is very simple that is we have receive f receive file command in CL which we can use to receive the data from the display or the database file in CL program. How do you declare more than one file in CL program? So to declare more than one file in CL program, we need to use the open ID concept, open identifier, open identifier. So then we would be able to use more than one uh, file in our CL program. How do you declare a file with graphic fields in CL program? More thing with the DCLF command. So let me show you this. We have DCLF command. So here we will be mentioning the file name. Open ID is this one, which I just told. We would be using Open ID to declare more than one file. Now here you can see allow graphic fields. So if any file has graphic fields and we are declaring that file in the CL program and we are not mentioning this allow graphic star years then at the compilation time we would be, we would be getting the error so to uh, remove that error to ignore that error we would be using allow graphic star years why we use percentile sst in cl program so in cl program if we want to extract some data from a particular string we would be using this percentile SST substring function in CL program to extract data from a string. Difference between SFL page and SFL size. Let me tell you SFL page is the number of records which, uh, which would be displayed on the screen. And SFL size the number of record which would be loaded in a subfile. So SFL page number of records displayed on a screen subfile screen at a time and SFL size is number of records loaded in subfile that can be loaded in the subfile is module executable 
the next question is so let me tell you we cannot execute a module so to execute a module we need to create a program and we need to bound that program to the we need to bound that module to that program so that we would be able to call or execute that program module so we cannot execute a module itself no answer will be no can we call a module yes we can call a module using op code call b we can directly call a module but what we need to do we need to bind that module separate module into uh, some program so that uh, we can call that module so these are 20 questions uh, which i mentioned here with their answers and with some explanations so i think uh, that's all for this video thank you and have a nice time i would be coming up with more interview question and answers related videos uh, during uh, this time because uh, i think and i know that this time is very crucial for uh, uh, most of the peoples who are preparing uh, for their interviews or want to uh, want to prepare their and want to prepare for uh, their interviews so that's that's all i would be coming with more videos uh, just wait for some time thanks and have a nice time